Hey guys, what's good? So today I got a tutorial on how to view your chat on one monitor. Uh, this is really useful if you only have a single monitor and you still want to view your chat. Um, that way you don't have to use something like a phone or a laptop or a tablet. You can actually view it on the same screen. So if you look right here, there's actually like this black box setting up here. And you're probably wondering what that is. That's called Restream Chat. So I'm going to teach you guys a method today on how to view your chat on a single monitor. So if we go ahead and tab out of this right here, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go download Restream Chat. Um, right here it is. Um, it's a free download. Go to Restream.io or just Google Restream Chat. And then you're going to download the chat for Windows. And you're going to go ahead and open that up. And as you can see here, we have the chat. It'll probably come in like a box that looks like this. Uh, you got to connect your account so go over to restream.io forward slash channel and then click on add channel and you can add your twitch channel in here like i have mine added and basically you can sign in and add it there you go over here make sure it's connected go to accounts and then go to where it says twitch.tv it should say that you're connected if it says reconnect that's how you know you're connected and then the next thing we want to look at is appearance. You want to make sure this is set on Windows always on top. That way it shows that no matter what screen you go to. Uh, click on enable transparency if you want to. It's personal preference. And then what I like to do is I open up Fortnite. And then uh, you want to go ahead and minimize the setting. So if you see your map here, what I like to do is try to angle this to where... I can hit the map. Actually, if you hit the Windows button, like the Windows key at the bottom left, then you can go up here and kind of move it around. So I'm going to put it right beside of my map here. So I'm not covering anything. And of course, you don't, you probably don't want a black box that's sitting there on your screen. There's a simple way to fix that. All you got to do is go ahead and hit the Windows key again, and then uh, click on your Settings tab once more. And I like to bring this window opacity all the way down. You might want to keep it up a little bit. It's just dependent on you. I like to keep it all the way down and then hit the message to 100%. And then you can minimize that. So now you can see up here it's still showing. Um, also, something I would recommend in settings is to uh, do the click through mode so you don't accidentally click on it. What this does is you have to now hold down the control key and then click to ina interact with it. So you can click through it now and go to your menus. And if you hold down control, as you can see here, you can't click into your menus, you're clicking into restream. And that almost has it set up. The last thing we just gotta do is test it out. So go ahead and close out of your settings here. You can set your font sizes as well. Um, so go ahead and close that out. And then if we hit the Windows key, I'm gonna bring up my Streamlabs on a different window. And I'm gonna practice the chat. And as you can see there, my name is popping up popping up with uh, exactly what it shows there um, if you show that in OBS so you're probably like well it's showing us in OBS so how do I make it to where people can't actually see the chat going on themselves and I need to move this down a little bit it's actually showing oh no it's not it's just where it was clipping there so people will be able to see this so you gotta actually fix some settings in your game so go over to your game settings make sure your window mode is on full screen window it will not work if you're on full screen you're not going to be able to see your chat once you're on full screen window hit apply and then bring over your streamlabs obs or obs whatever you're using and then uh, make sure that you're running your fortnite as a game capture instead of a display capture if you run it as a game capture and i already have mine set up so game capture mode specific window and then click on window must match title and then uh, of course you click on Fortnite and if we actually look at OBS uh, if I go over to game capture instead there we go because I had it open on the other one so if you can see here I'm doing game capture right now and you can't see the chat at the top right now so it's a really useful tool to have. It's something that I'm actually going to use even though I have multiple monitors to keep up with my chat. It just works really well. And that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. You can play around with it. Do it however you want. If we go back over to Display Capture, then you're going to see that I do have the chat. Make sure you're doing Game Capture. After all those settings, you should be good. 
and then you can fiddle around with the settings just however you want it to be and if you really want a box here then you can put like a slot box if you want it dark you can do it dark I might actually stick to something like maybe 20% just to know that it's there and then of course you can fix your font sizes to make it really huge I keep mine on 16 you can change the nickname which isn't showing there for some reason and the timestamp I don't have mine to timestamp and so yeah that's how you view chat on a single monitor guys hopefully this tutorial helped you all out if you have any questions be sure to comment below and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace